So I've become a big fan of efficiency lately. When I first heard about this pedal, I really couldn't believe it existed. It's a Keely Tone workstation, and it blows my mind that five full guitar pedals can fit in this little box. This could very well be the perfect country guitar pedal, so let's go check it out. Hey y'all, it's Colt Wheeler here, bringing you the best country guitar tips and tricks so that you can level up your country music playing faster. On this channel, I cover everything from tone tips, gear reviews, and guitar tips for playing country music. I hope all y'all are doing well. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Keeley Tone Workstation and the five pedals that are built into this little box, making this the perfect pedal for country guitar. At a quick glance, you'll notice that this pedal has more knobs and switches than any ordinary snuff box. And that's because this isn't any ordinary snuff box. The name Workstation becomes more and more apparent when you look closer at each segment of the pedal. So going from right to left, the first switch is the famous Keeley Compressor. Compressors have been used in the studios forever. MXR put one in a stomp box and called it the Dynacomp, and everyone used it in the 70s. Then a company called Ross made their version but with better components, and it only stuck around for a while, driving up the prices of this mythical pedal. Robert Keeley came along in the early 2000s and made his copy of the original Ross compressor, and everyone loved it, particularly those in Nashville. So this section of the pedal is that compressor, which is awesome, particularly if you play country music. So in the tone workstation, you get level and sustain knobs from the main compressor controls. The level control is used to make the volume either louder or quieter. I like to set the volume so it's the same whether the pedal is engaged or not, but you can set it as a volume boost when it's on if you like. Turning the sustain knob will change the compression or squishiness of the sound. Here's a high sustain sound. And here's a low sustain sound. And then there's the blend knob, which allows you to mix in your dry signal with the compressed signal to taste. Here's the compressor with no dry signal blended in. And here's the compressor when you blend in 50% of your dry signal. So that's actually a common misconception that I, even I made uh, when I filmed this six months ago. Uh, all the way to the left is actually complete compression. All the way to the right is actually 50-50 compression. So 50% dry, 50% compressed. Up in the middle is more 75-25 split. This bright switch allows you to add a little extra trouble, particularly useful if you're using something with humbuckers. The side effect of using a compressor can be a loss of trouble, so use your ears here. So I use my compressor usually as a way to tighten up chicken picking. I put the sustain knob around 10, 11 o'clock, so it's not too noticeable. Then I set the levels to compensate with my amp. I put the blend knob all the way up and then dial back a notch or two. For the telly, the treble switch is down, but that will be determined by which guitar you use. The next section of the pedal is the Katana Clean Boost. The Clean Boost does exactly what it sounds. It takes your original signal, turns it up without distorting, i.e. Clean Boost. Then there's the 1962 switch, and when flipped up, it engages the other two knobs, and the middle section turns into Keeley's 1962 Overdrive, which is based on a Marshall Blues Breaker, which is the Eric Clapton tone. So this switch alone is worth the pedal itself. Depending on the song or the set list, I use the Katana for country chicken picking, and the 1962 set for playing rock songs. The last section of this pedal is the Keeley modded Tube Screamer. I probably don't need to tell you what a tube screamer is, but you probably didn't know that Robert Keeley got started building pedals by fixing and enhancing tube screamers. This section right here is based on his modded version. This side of the pedal has two modes, a modded plus and a baked mod. The mod plus makes the clean signal cleaner and the dirty signal dirtier. the baked mod section. This section is a more aggressive overdrive. This pedal can do a lot of different tricks between this, a tuner, and Achilles Caverns, which is a delay pedal and a reverb pedal built under one. I can do most country gigs right now. In fact, these are currently the only three pedals I have on my board. Now, like I said in my Getting a Modern Country Guitar Tone video, 
Country guitar tone is all over the spectrum these days, but the fact that this pedal can go from a clean, snappy chicken picking tone to crunchy power chords to soaring solos all with the touch of a few buttons, that's pretty freaking impressive for such a small box. But I'm curious of what you all think of the Tone Workstation. Have you ever heard of it before? Have you ever used one? What pedals do you think this one pedal can replace on your board? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself, that affiliate link is listed in the description box below and goes a long way to help support the channel. So if you're looking for a demonstration of just sounds from this pedal, check out this video here. I'm playing a Telecaster and a PRS humbucker guitar through a Fender style amp, a Vox style amp, and a Marshall style amp. Uh, no talking, just playing, just so you can get a full experience of what this guitar pedal will sound like with any amp. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, let the music play.